What's up, y'all? Good evening. It's your girl Chrissy, now known as HBIC or HBI Chrissy. Um, I am so excited. Today I have received my one gauge plugs. Okay, I'm just gonna get right into it. And um, <gasps> um plugs, tunnels, tapers, whatever you want to call it, I got them today size 1G, one gauge. Um, I ordered these from Amazon um, by a way of urbanbodyjewelry.com. So Amazon sells them for $10.99. I know in doing my research that most of the kits that come on um, that are available in Amazon, most of the kits that are available on Amazon they do not have size one gauge um the one gauge is um pretty much good for those who are going from a two to a zero and it's extremely painful so you want that little you know leeway to ease your way to a zero well um i didn't care about that i obviously love pain so um you know that wasn't a factor the reason why I decided to go with a 1G is because um, it's my second ear hole that I am stretching and I don't want to go too far so I went with a 1 because I'm thinking like that may be big enough you know where I might want to keep it there but now that I have the 1 I'm thinking I may end up stretching to a 0 who knows you know what I mean we're just going to find out so um you know you guys know that i started with the 16g um when i first started i've been doing this since what was it september yeah i've been stretching my ears september or november maybe it was around november i don't i don't really remember i think it was more like october november i don't know but almost a year i've been stretching my ears and um you know what happened with this last stretch i went from a two which is what i was um you know recently so i don't i, I took them out because i had to clean them and everything else like that but um i took them out but i wanted to um you know just share a little bit with you guys i think the last time i showed you guys my journey i was stretching to a four from a six i believe that's what it was but um i don't really remember to be honest <laughs> i know this is like crazy that i'm even using the ending of this bottle but i find it useful so i'm using my leftover tea tree oil and just you know i rub my fingers together to get that all up in there just so you guys can see how i go about stretching my earlobes I put it also on the taper. Let me take these rings out so you can see the um ooh. Yeah, so you can see the taper and the taper is made out of steel and my tunnel plugs are made out of um crap. They're made out of surgical steel. So just to give you guys you know an idea um this cost me 10.99 on amazon and this cost me 10.99 on amazon and um with tax i think i paid i actually got the paper right here i paid 86 cents for tax and the shipping total was a dollar ninety nine. So altogether, I paid thirteen dollars and eighty four cents for this um, one gauge stretching kit. So, woo, wish me luck. Ooh, child. See, this is where we're at now. So. I feel that it's getting real right here. <laughs> and I'm like, I wanna go to a zero. I think this might be enough, honestly. Like, 
So what I usually do, if you haven't watched my last um, ear stretching video, I just slowly twist it and push at the same time, very slow, to where I'm comfortable. If I feel a little pain, I stop. Because um, they're going to burn. I know a lot of these videos will tell you if you feel some pain, stop. You're doing it too soon. Um, I've been um, in the 2G category for like three months. So um, it has nothing to do with that. You're going to feel some pain. You're going to feel some burning. I don't necessarily, well, pain. If you feel something burning, that is painful. Um, but I refer to it as burning. It feels like my ears are on fire. That is what I would use to describe how the stretching makes me feel. So what you can do at this point if the pain is too much for you, and I'm looking at, I'm feeling this now, and I don't even understand how people can go from a two to a zero without this one, because this one has already got my ear on fire take a closer look so you guys could see how far I am in so what I usually do at this point if I feel like it's too painful I'll leave it in for a few minutes um you know half of the day or I'll leave it in for you know until the next day or whatever and get back into it that way it kind of loosens it up so I think that's what I'm going to do and um yeah i'll get back with you guys tomorrow but that's just for starters um you know what i can't do it like that because it only came with one taper which sucks i actually kind of like this still out yo if this came with two of them i will keep these in i really like this look on the back hello now i'm gonna have to find now I'm gonna have to buy these. I'm gonna have to buy these. A still taper. Because I think this is cute. It's cute. <laughs> this is just give you guys a look of what's happening. So let me open this up because I'm gonna need lubricant. <laughs> There we go. Just lubricate it all up. So yeah, I have no choice but to um but to do this thing here tonight. Now this is what the the tunnels look like. I don't know if you can see it. This is what they look like. Ooh, I looked at this like I want bigger. <laughs> I am too spoiled. So what I'm gonna do um, is once I'm able to stretch this down just a little bit so I can get past that little painful curve. Um, once it's like in, because it's still not in, but you see I don't have far to go. I'm just at the tip. Once I get that in, and this is usually my, my more difficult ear too, um, but once I get that in, I'll stick this, the flared end, because one end is, you know, circular and the other end is flared. So I'll stick the flared in on the tip like this. And is that how I would do it? No, I'm, I'm lying. I was thick because I don't want that like that so yeah I don't know I got to figure it out but <laughs> I would um yeah I think I would turn this around and um pull it in because I don't want this black showing so I want the black in the back which is the rubber piece what do they call it o-ring I want the o-ring in the back um, so I would flip this around, you know, once this can go all the way through, that lets me know I'm ready. So let me play with it some more so you guys can see. And I might have to speed this process up. So, oh, it's going in now with no problem. See, that's what I mean. You wait a couple of 
minutes and it's like sinking in there and it didn't even hurt I was just like oh it's in there <laughs> all right so now I get to show you guys what I mean all right so yep there we go stick this right back in there now I got the flare part sticking out put that on on there because it's like the key you see it's the key to getting in there mm. and it's in there we go we're in there so you guys can see what it looks like It doesn't even hurt half as bad as I thought it would. I'm just being honest. I'm just going to use some leftover oil for this air to prepare it. You feel me? Right, let me put this O-ring on. And obviously the O-ring is used to keep it from falling out. I have so many because of the kits that I purchased. So... And I get all of my kits from Amazon. I've been getting them all from Amazon. And voila! Yes, yes. So, um, I was telling my husband earlier, like, what I feel when I first do this is burning. This is the process. It's usually going to burn for, like, when it burns the... It burns the most when you are pushing that taper in. Like that's when it burns the most. And from there, once you get that taper in, like the pain is non-existent. It, no, it's not non-existent. It goes down about five notches. So on a scale of one to 10, at first it's a 10 as you're, like when you reach that point where you just gotta let it sit, yeah. Let's see. Slowly, and when I say slowly, you know, to your comfortability, you're just twisting and pushing it in. And when you feel a little pain, that's when you stop and wait. And that's usually I wait for a little bit. See, this isn't so bad. It's going all the way in already. I told you the other one is my more problem uh, here. So it is. Okay, so I was just getting this ring ready. I really wish I could rock this like this because I probably would. Yeah, but yeah, it's ready. It's already in there. And this don't even, I say on a scale of 1 to 10, this is like a one and a half. It's not even, like it doesn't hurt. You just feel it. So, I'm going to put a little bit more like I did. And you see I was trying to be cute and my t-shirt comes out like, that's the bowl. Normally, I tie it up, which I'm going to do again. So, I don't want this sagging. Okay. There we go. Put back in there. Do it that way. We're gonna use our key. And it's in. See how easy that was? This is literally a 15 minute video. And <laughs> I just did that in how many minutes? Two minutes? And they're both in there. So, yeah, give y'all the rundown. So, again, let me, because now I can focus. <laughs> um, let me put my hair up, actually. First of all, let me 
put this back up okay because it's killing my look and it's killing my vibe and i don't appreciate it <laughs> there we go all right so just the smaller ones all right my bad <laughs> i told y'all i always be getting these videos so y'all can see Okay, let me just use all three. This head needs to be done, honey. And I'm not getting it done anytime soon because I'm going on vacation. You know what? I'm I'm lying. I thought I was going on vacation this month. Turns out it's next month, so I can do my hair after all. Um, I'm actually gonna try a new product that I forgot about and then it popped up on my wall so I'm like oh yeah I gotta buy it so I'm gonna purchase that maybe tonight but yeah alright um alright so you guys can see alright so normally cause I don't feel like it feels like that now but normally when I stretch my ears they're they feel like they're on fire they um the pain on a scale of one to ten is definitely a ten in that process of stretching my ears so that's what i be feeling it's just like oh it's on fire um as you can see i go in with my tea tree oil i don't use the earlobe stretching oil or bomb you know what i mean because i'm like well i got tea tree oil and a lot of that stuff is made with tea tree oil so i'm like okay well let me use it and as you can see if you've seen in my last video i've been using the ending of this bottle each time you see how much is left all you need is a little bit it's just like lubricate your fingers rub it on your earlobes and that's what i'll be doing for like the next couple of days if if need be okay um if applicable so anyway um i really like this size i don't know maybe i will stay here maybe i will go up again because i'm telling you it was really hard to find um this kit it was really hard to find this kit but anyway let me i'll get to that later um so yeah i had a on a scale of one to ten it's a ten as i'm putting these tapers in and then I go from a 10, um, once the taper slides through and I put the earring in, that pain level is now at a 5. From a 5, um, once I reach the 5, uh, I, will re I will remain at a 5 for the rest of the evening, day, you know. So for like another 24 hours, you know, you can feel it like i'm not gonna say 24 hours but maybe for the next 12 hours this pain level will be here like because you just did it so it's tender it's sore but it's not like in excruciating pain it's just sore um and then from a five by day three you don't feel it at all <laughs> like it just end up disappearing like you forget about it you know what i mean so it's going to be tender to the touch um after day three it'll probably be a little tender to the touch but you won't feel it like i feel it right now you feel me so that's what i mean um but just to go over the details again this is from urban body jewelry okay so you can go to urbanbodyjewelry.com this card came with it so you guys can get a good look at this okay urban body jewelry and um th this was the only company that i found that had the size one gauge like i couldn't find it anywhere and i remember this chick at my job she was telling me she was telling me about once i go from a two to a zero um she was saying how um you know you can't find um size one and a lot of people i think were saying that but guess what guys I find everything that I am looking for on Amazon. If you need me to find you something on Amazon, I am that go-to person. I really don't know why I am not Amazon spokesperson. My girlfriend tells me all the time, like, Amazon should pay you because I'm on Amazon because of you. And it was just like, well, 
yeah you're right i agree <laughs> yeah i totally agree with her like amazon should really pay me because i really go hard for amazon i'm a big amazon shopper i've been shopping faithfully for amazon since i've been working there and that's back in 2014 but yeah um let me show y'all my business <sighs> but yeah so the um taper the one gauge taper is made out of steel as i mentioned earlier it's a steel taper and the pair of um tunnels are stainless steel so that'll just give you an idea um but i think i want steel material that thing is official it was looking real real right up in my ears i think i'm gonna look into that so if you guys are interested in purchasing a one gauge as i mentioned earlier one gauge is really good for um people that want to go stretch their ears from a two to a zero but you find it a little bit painful i will leave the link in the description box so that you guys can follow the link to buy the one gauge stretching kit um earlobe stretching kit okay um and that's pretty much it i don't see a need to keep this video going any longer um it's your girl chrissy um formerly known as whimsical locks also known as whimsical locks um i'll be back up eventually um just chilling you know what i mean i'm just doing my thing but i will be coming out with a few live videos in the near future so keep a lookout on that okay you haven't got rid of me completely okay i will be back sharing my intel okay whether they like it or not i'm still gonna be me but i'm just you know i'm not putting as much as i once did because a lot of people didn't appreciate it so i ain't got time for that but anywho thank you so much for tuning in it's your girl christy and i'm signing out with the fab sign <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Just one more thing before I let you guys go. Um, a lot of people, you know, commonly ask how far in between um, your stretches do you stretch? So for me, typically, um, I started off doing, you know, once a month um, or sooner if I felt like it wasn't like you know when i started off i started off with a 16 gauge um so those was really really small so it wasn't no healing that needed to take place um when i got around that 10 8 6 gauge um you know i may take um a little longer just because i was getting used to um you know the stretching when it starts become becoming painful and at that point um once i realized like oh you know like these heal pretty quickly maybe not heal heal but um you can put them in sooner if they appear to to be healed you know what i mean so i was going from you know once a month to two three weeks you know what i mean so um it's really up to you i would just say be careful um because you can um you can cause your ear to have a blowout i've never had one i've never experienced any bleeding breakage or anything of that nature i never ex experienced any excruciating pain um like i said to me it, it just feels like it's it's a burning sensation you know what i mean because you're stretching your ears so um that's about as painful as it gets but i like pain so some people may find it unbearable me you know it wasn't nothing you know what i mean <laughs> so um that's one of the questions that i get a lot as you know in regards to my earlobe stretching um what else i feel like there's something else that i need to share with you guys in regards to this journey oh yeah so um i do want to make no um because you know even though you may feel like it has completely healed um i remember i had my um two gauges in for like a month and a half and one day i took it out because the the brand that i was using was irritating my ears so i took it out one one day 
and I went to go put them back in the next day after having them in for a little over a month, month and a half or so, and um, my ears seemed to have shrunken like I couldn't get it through at all and this was literally the next day after a month and a half of wearing my two gauges that's why I've been wearing my two gauges for three months before I started to stretch my ears again because I'm like you know what maybe it doesn't heal as soon as I thought it did um well it's not that it didn't heal but it's not stretched that that, that stretch isn't permanent you know just like if you just get your ears pierced, your nose pierced, your tongue pierced, any piercing that you get, if you take it out within a certain amount of time frame, it's going to close. And that happened relatively quickly. So I just want you guys to be mindful of that because I had to restretch my ears all over again um, using the same size gauge. And that really was annoying because I was ready to go to a zero, I mean, a one then, but I just couldn't. So. That's why my last time, um, you know, was a little bit extended. Also because I purchased a kit that had colorful, different color, um, uh, ton different color tunnels. So, you know, I wanted to switch them up and enjoy, you know, the two gauge for a while. But now I'm in this, now I'm in this mother freaking one gauge and I'm just like, hey, you can't tell me nothing, you feel me? But I don't know if they have anything, um, you know, as far as colorful ones and fancy ones like these um, for size one. But best believe I'm going to keep a lookout on it and I'll keep you guys posted. If you have any questions, please leave them in the, dis the description box. I always say the description box. But please leave them in the comments, all right? So that's it that I believe I wanted to tell you guys. Bye.